Hi there guys and welcome back to another Critter Keeper episode. So today I'm going to show you how I photograph some of my critters and I'm also going to start a series on how I'm going to give you tips on how to photograph your critters like you can have a look at my Instagram um, handle and page and check out some of the photographs I've taken there. Some of you guys like it others don't really like the white backdrop but uh, I really like it because it makes the subject so uh, yeah, um, for those that don't know, I found a really really cool snake in my garden. Check out the link in the description below to the video on my main channel of how I discovered this snake. It is a non-venomous snake and I'm going to take him out now for you guys. I'm keeping him temporary here because it is a wild species and you need a permit to keep snakes. So I'm going to release him uh, back into the wild and not in my garden because I do have a cat and my cat unfortunately will kill it and eat it. So it's the little baby. They get to about a meter and a half in size. So this is a little brown house snake. So all that you need is LED floodlight, some white paper and your DSLR camera or even your smartphone. So I'm going to first show you with the DSLR camera all my settings and how I do it with that and then we're going to move over to the phone so excuse me for turning my back on you guys but let's go plug in the floodlight there we go so you can see the white background is actually reflecting a lot of the light back and that's exactly what we want with photography so let's get a nice cup and place the snake inside of the cup see if he's going to try and get out and then we'll go in he doesn't want to get out right, there we go. let's see if I can get a handle come on he doesn't want to let go of me because my hand's nice and warm and the cup is cold both hands. There we go, he's in the cup. So I've got my flash on, I've got a, a tube that just extends the, the lens and I've got a fixed 50 millimeter lens. Now this is not a macro setup but it does help to bring the lens a little bit further away from your, your body and that way you can get closer to the, the object. So my settings, I'm just going to turn the cap around because I've got my flash on. My settings is I've darkened out the image and I've also got it on a very, very low f-stop. So let's see if that little guy wants to pop out. I'm going to pop his head out. There we go. And now I can start. of this video I'm going to show you guys what the photos look like so I'm just going to move them back just back there we go this is not really stressful for the, the little guy at all well I hope not I haven't had any issues with any of the the animals I photographed okay so what you sometimes want to do is get another light on the side so that takes away some of the shadows but most of your flashlight will bounce back off the white background and take away all of the shadows so that the whole subject just pops nicely. I can give that little tongue. Come on, show us your tongue. This is coming out really nicely. So the detail is quite nice. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, let me show you now with the, the phone. Okay, so you want to go on your smartphone 
a lot of the smartphones have this it's that more option where you can actually do the pro and then you can do your ISO as low as you if you want because you are using quite a lot of external light and let's just have a look put my flash on permanently so let's just move this guy a little bit closer to the side subject so I don't look right. so also there's a couple of other settings feature that you can use is go over to photo and go to more is the food one and that creates a, a focal point right in the middle So you can see it's quite nice. So I'm going to end this video guys with uh, the photos that I'm showing you at the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will have a couple of other videos showing you guys exactly how I photograph my critters. But let me put this little guy back. I'm just going to put him back in his temporary enclosure. And he's going to be released today. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, this is a new channel. I would really hope you would like if you guys would subscribe and also share it with your friends that are also critter keepers. And that's it for me. Bye.